next uh, we will work with uh, numerical FDTD, finite difference time domain, to extract the mode and uh, calculate the ineffective versus wavelength and see how the light propagate through the waveguide. So actually, numerical FDTD is a powerful electromagnetic simulation tool for optical de device design and analysis. So for instance, for the waveguide simulation, we use numerical FDTD to study the light propagation, scattering, and interaction in the waveguide. We can study different type of waveguide, like slab waveguide, photonic crystal waveguide, photonic waveguide, so ring modulators, a different kind of waveguide, and we can calculate a different parameter like transmission reflection versus wavelength. So about the mode source feature in numerical FTTD, actually you can selectively excite specific waveguide mode for in-depth analysis. So I will show you how we can do it. So we can uh, control the parameter like uh, frequency, polarization, and also uh, we can optimize the waveguide design uh, if we want to use like this waveguide for micro ring resonator, we can understand mode coupling effects and we can analyze the device performance. So, uh, so numerical FTTD gives us a valuable insight like we can gain a deeper understanding of waveguide mode and their impact on optical systems. So this is the GUI of numerical FTTD. It's, lumer it's similar to numerical mode. So here we have uh, object trees. In this window, we can see the results. We can uh, see the different <laughs> different view of the device like XY view, prospective view, XZ view, YZ view. So we can define our solver, we can define our uh, uh, waveguide, monitor, we can put different monitor, different mesh size. And um, in the result side, like uh, uh, we can access the different parameters. So this is the schematic of the waveguide that we want to design. So this is X direction. So this is X direction. This is Y direction and this is Z direction. So for the Y, we will consider a 500 nanometer for width and we will consider a 220 nanometer for heights as a Z, Z part. And for the X, we can like consider a 20 micrometer, 30 micrometer as the length of the waveguide. So because we want to uh, study the TE mode, uh, actually T-like mode. So in the T-like, we have a EY, uh, as we discussed in numerical uh, mode before. So this is the this is the mode distribution. This is the effective index versus wavelengths. I will show you how we can extract the result. Uh, this is the mode propagation through the waveguide along the x direction, and this is the movie of light propagation through the. Waveguide. So as you see, uh, numerical FTTD gives us a different, like, uh, aspect of waveguide of studying and analy analyzing a waveguide parameters. So let's go to the numerical FTTD.